Okay, we are going to be solving equal group stories. We are going to be using our reference book, page 270. If you do not have that, I have made a copy um, and put it in the, in the slides of the dollar store poster. We're going to use the dollar store poster to answer the questions on this page. Um, you can work along the journal, page 46. We're going to be working through these stories together. Shauna buys three boxes of mini stock cars to share with her classmates. How much do the three boxes of cars cost? Well, first of all, we have to look at the mini stock cars. Look at that. Look at the dollar store poster. See the mini stock cars. There are 10 per box. So she is buying three of those boxes and how many in each box? There are 10. So we're going to draw because everyday math is about showing your work. We're going to draw. There's 10 in this box. She buys three. So I'm going to actually make three circles. And there are 10 in each one. 10, 10, and 10. So we can look at that and we can go, hmm, we can say our number model is um, 10 plus 10 plus 10 or 10 times 3. And if you add those in there, let's see here, if you put that in there, let's see, our answer is 30. 30 cards. Here's our next what is going on? The next one says a teacher buys one package of value pack pens and zero packages of chocolate scented pens. How many pens does she buy in all? So let's look at one package of value pack pens. Let's look at the value pack pens in our dollar store poster. Um, well, value pack pens. How many in the value pack pens? 10 in a package. So we are going to write one package, one times. 10 and she buys zero packages of the chocolate scented pens which is six six in a pack so how many pens does she buy in all well, we talked about earlier that anything times 1 is 10. And we talked about earlier that anything times 0 is 0. So this is 0. So 10 plus 0 is what? 10. So your answer would be 10. And your number model would be 1 times 10 equals 10, 0 times 6 equals 0, and then 10 plus 0 equals 10. So write those number models. Notice the S in number models. So you can have more than one number model. So you should be writing those down here. So you would type in here at the bottom, uh, if I can get this, I don't really want it to write on top of that. Um, well, anyways, you're going to write 1 times 10 equals 10, 0 times 6 equals 0, and then add 10 plus 0 equals 10. And how many pens? It's right here we can write pens. For 10 pins in all. Okay, then we're going to go to the next screen. 
I believe. Well, I'm not sure why it skipped the, the middle question here. If you're working on your journal, this is what you should see. You should see that first question. Then we did the second question. And for some reason, my slide skipped the middle question. So I'm going to go back to this. How much do three boxes of cars cost? So let's look at our dollar store poster. And cars, there are 10 cars per box. And they are $4 per box. So if you buy three boxes of cars, here we go, one, two, three, and each one cost $4. $4, I'll put the dollar sign here, four, four dollars, and four dollars. This is why it's really good to make pictures. It just helps you see what you're talking about. Four plus four plus four. So in your number model, you could write down here. I'm going to try to type so we don't use up as much space by typing. Okay. Um, four. plus four plus four equals 16. Or you can go four, oh, that's not right. Four plus four plus four, think about it, eight and then four more is 12 actually. And you can also put four times three equals 12. So our answer is going to be money. It says how much does it cost? So we're going to put money $12 if she was going to buy three boxes of cars. So that's how um, we do equal group number stories.